Hey, it's Adam with the Productivity Academy, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about doc hierarchy and how you can take pages or subpages if you need them and make them into docs, because it's not super intuitive. And I had a really good question from David about if this is even possible and how you can do this. So I don't think I had actually done this before, which is part of why I wanted to kind of dig into it. And I had some ideas about how this would work. So if you come over here, for example, I just set up you know, uh, a doc, and then we've got pages, subpages, and was just taking a look to see, of course, does it come up in any of the menu items? Can you come over here? Um, you know, for example, we could uh, duplicate, uh, but all that does, let me go back over here. There we go, duplicate. Um, but all that does is do it within here. Um, I did see something funny happen when I uh, duplicated the top level, but I believe I was just doing it from the overall doc. Um, so let's get down to it. There are two ways you can do this. So one way would be to take the doc, the entire document, right? And that includes pages, subpages, and duplicate that entire thing and then delete out what you don't need. May or may not work. It has the upside of not creating a template, which is going to be the next way. And depending on how many pages you need, that might be the fastest way to do it. So for example, because you can see over here, let me hover over that again. This is doc settings over here. And then over here, we're dealing with the individual pages or sub pages. So if we go ahead and we go ahead and we duplicate, generally this takes a minute. I'm going to, oh, there we go. I can see it over here already. We can come in here into the copy and then we could just delete things that we don't need. Let's say um, we don't need that anymore. So we're going to delete that and we're going to delete the top level page. Right. Okay. And if that happens or you have a sub page, you can just click and drag. Uh, usually there we go. A little finicky. And then let's delete that probably going to take a minute. And then if we want to change the name, we can come in here and say altered, you know, doc or something like that. Of course, while I'm recording the video, it's now deleting it because there's only one page. Um, so we could do something like add a page in there. And then, you know, you could have gone out uh, to back to the doc list and done it, but we can just call this altered doc list. Right, so that's one way to do it. Depending you know, on how many pages you have, that could be messy, could be great, could be what you need. So let's take a look at the other way of doing this. So I'm gonna close this one and we're gonna come back into here. Now, what I did, for example, uh, we've got these pages, um, we've got this. Let's say this is the one page that we want to um, create into a top level doc, just like this whole thing. And you, this could be the sub page, could be anything. Let's do this, for example. Um, this is the one we want to use. And I'm writing this down here so you can see that it's actually copied over. So what we can do is we don't want to come into the doc settings. You want to come into the page um, or sub page settings, and we can save it as a template. So let's call that sub page template doc. OK, um, it's up to you who you want to share it with, public sharing, all of that. Uh, let's go ahead and save that. So we get a little notification saying, hey, it might take a minute. Um, so I'm going to pause and we'll hop back in. OK, got the little pop up said that it was good to go. So what you would now do is come in here and click on new doc. OK, so see that totally blank. And now what we can do is apply template. OK, so it takes a minute. Fill out uh, or we'll fill up here in a second. And if you have to wait a few seconds, you, this is what you're looking for. You want to see docs. And luckily, when you're in docs, they go ahead and filter it over here so that you don't see you know, all this other stuff. So let me see. This is the one uh, we created. So let's click on that. And there's some things you can you know, check out. You can add a description, whatever. Um, we're just going to click on Use Template. And then it'll take a second, and we see it. OK, so what you can do, because every doc actually, of course, has some sort of a page it has to be created with that page so you can just delete that one and then you're left with uh, what you had down here now this is interesting to me that it didn't fill out what i typed on the sub page might need to go back and update it uh, might need to update the template it might just take some time here it may not have waited long enough i did a test though it worked copied it over um, so again it may take a little while for it to propagate through the servers um, so for an example i did earlier um, i used the top level page copied over just fine and I made some changes to it updated the template so let's go into that and see how we can do that we'll talk about that here this is updated text let's say that's now something that you want to use 
Well, we can go back and we go back to the page over here, wherever it may be, and we plot, uh, sorry, save as template. And if it's changed or it's changed places or you wanna name it something different, you go through the process again, but down here on the bottom left, you can also update an existing template. Okay, and this is the one right here. So let's go ahead, save that and save. And then we get the same thing. Okay, we'll notify you. Boom, it's already been created. That's great. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that. Do, do, do. I'm going to do apply template. And I see now, I think I might have created two uh, by mistake. So I'll try one. And then if that isn't it, I think um, that was the issue here. So, okay, it's not coming up. So let me try the other one. We will apply the template. And this is my fault for creating a couple tests, I believe. So let's try that. OK, and it applied it as a sub page. So interesting. Uh, it looks like it's taking some time to propagate again. So that's what I suspected was the deal. Um, it's not going to be instantaneous. But those are the two ways that you can do this. Um, not, in my opinion, the, the slickest way or the best way. If this is something you'd like to see uh, made easier, you probably want to put that into a request into uh, uh, update so that you know or contact support and see if that's something they can add to the list of things that they can update but it is possible so hope this helps uh, if you like this stuff if you like click up tools automation apps all that sort of good stuff productivity time management uh, check out the other videos or subscribe to the channel thanks have a good one